New Chanel, Mama and Gucci, got out the hoop to get yeah. Been through hell, carry the, carry the life is a movie, yeah. We prevail, now we do the coupies, don't do the groupies, yeah. Got money for bail, yo, act like you know me, knock off your coffee, yeah. Flooded the road, you would eat them, pack like a train to the beamer. Blowing the money like Freema, I got a flex on the sleepers. They trying to do me like Caesar. Hey, I'm Harvey Harrington. Welcome back to Dream Chasers. I want to talk about most kids and understanding and confidence. Now, when you talk about understanding and confidence, I want to know, how do you look at yourself as whatever basketball player, soccer player, female, male? How do you look at yourself? How do you perceive yourself? A lot of kids look at other players. Okay, I, For example, I have a couple kids that look up to different NCAA players or NBA players. Like I got a kid that talks about Sharif Cooper a lot he, and he loves the way Sharif Cooper plays, how he moves. And I always, I'm constantly asking him like, what's the difference between you and Sharif Cooper? Now Sharif Cooper is one of the top players in the nation right now and probably an NBA prospect. And I think the difference between my particular player that I deal with and Sharif Cooper is the fact that Sharif had to learn some stuff along the way. He had to learn to be confident when he played. Most kids are good because of, of their confidence and they know the game. Basketball IQ is one of the is one of the biggest things that you can gain as a basketball player. There, there's a lot of players that can can play on certain levels because of basketball IQ. Without basketball IQ, they're not going to make it. Think about it like this. Confidence is gained through knowledge. Just like I said, basketball IQ just a second ago, confidence is gained through knowledge. Think about when you learned how to walk. Think about when you learned how to ride a bike. You got on that bike and it was certain things that you didn't understand. You didn't understand how to pedal and how to keep yourself upright. You didn't understand when you turn, how to make sure you don't lean the bike over so you don't fall. Same with walking. You had to learn how to catch, how to, how to, uh, keep your balance and how to continue to move forward. And then walking became running. That's just like the game of basketball. You got to have that IQ and you got to understand the the game to get to a certain point that every time when you play, no matter who steps on the floor, you have a level of confidence because of a lot of things that you know. Stop feeling like you're not good enough. Too many kids always feel like they're in, inadequate when it comes to everybody else. You look around. Yes, competition is healthy. It's healthy to it's healthy to to compare yourself. It's healthy to um, you know kind of kind of see what other people are doing and and to sort to kind of seek out um, you know to be the type of player that you want to be. But ultimately, mentally, if it's not there and you're not and you're not mentally tough or you don't look at yourself in such a light that that can push you to be good, you're not going to be good. Stop, stop treating yourself like you're not enough. You are good enough. And you have to, you have to start actually just walking, talking, and believing in yourself. Because if you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will. I want to thank you guys for watching. My name is Harvey Harrington. This is Dream Chasers. I'm out of here.